The YOLO line of models have been very popular because of their speed, because of their size, and because of their performance with regards to the downstream tasks that they're able to perform. Ultralytics has released YOLO V11. And then this video, we're going to go over the details of YOLO V11 and showcase how we can set it up and how we can run inference using YOLO V11. Welcome back to the channel, guys. My name is Roop. I'm an engineer at Convolve. At Convolve, we assist small, medium, large enterprises with uh, unique solutions relating to computer vision and AI. Our objective is to help improve enterprises their efficiency, safety, compliance using computer vision and AI. Now, Ultralytics has released the next version of the YOLO model. The last version was YOLO version 10 and now the version 11 has been released. So guys, here on the screen, you can see the YOLO v11 repository. This is the Ultralytics official repository um, and this has the information about YOLO v11. So first of all, let's start here. Let me just increase the size of this. All right, here we see the YOLO V11's graph. Um, so this plot over here shows the uh, the MAP, mean average precision, versus the latency for different models. It has YOLO 11, V10, V9, V8, V7, etc., etc. And you can see the YOLO V11 uh, is uh, basically above all the other curves. It has better uh, mean average precision. So in terms of accuracy of detection and uh, downstream tasks, it is better. Also the latency is better. So that means it's faster, right? So you can see the latency of a nano model is less than two milliseconds per image, which means it is able to give you an answer in less than two milliseconds. So almost assuming two milliseconds, it can process 500 images in one second, um, which is pretty nice, right? Um, so now let's go into how we can get this set up. So the first thing you need to do is you need to install Ultralytics, right? So in order to install Ultralytics, you can just use this command, pip install Ultralytics on command prompt on your terminal. Um, again, if you already have Ultralytics involved, then just upgrade Ultralytics so that it can assess the latest version of the YOLO v11. Um, and once you're done with that, uh, let's uh, uh, see how you can now further go ahead and uh, use the YOLO 11 model to do inference on your setup. So here in this particular um, uh, setup, what we have is uh, I have this image. So this image was taken from our office um, of uh, these cars over here, right? Um, and the idea is that we will just run um, the YOLO uh, 11's inference on this. And then we have another video on which we'll run the inference. So this video is from a data set called Parnaset. Um, we have essentially taken the images in Parnaset uh, and at five frames per second, we have concatenated those images into a video. So this is that video. It's essentially uh, of a driving scene, cars, uh, a car driving, uh, a self-driving car, or a data collection car driving through streets, and we have all the other cars and traffic lights and signals over here. So we'll run YOLO 11 on both of these. So let's see how we can run it. So guys, here, uh, first step here is to import YOLO from Ultralytics. So this will essentially import the YOLO model, uh, the YOLO uh, toolbox. Um, then we have to get the model set up. So This will essentially set the model up. So for this uh, particular demo, we'll use the nano model. So here, as you can see, we have different sorts of model. Um, in here, there is a YOLO 11 nano, uh, 11S, 11 medium, large, extra large. All these models have different uh, uh, precision in terms of their performance and their speed. So uh, the smallest model is the nano model and it's the fastest. So we'll, for the purpose of demo, we'll just use that one. Of course, if you go to a bigger model, it will become slower, but at the same time, the performance will improve. Okay? So here, uh, sorry, I think uh, this is the wrong bracket. Uh, colon. 
All right, so now we have this model already loaded. So this is the YOLO model. We can see the architecture of the entire model here. Um, now with this model, uh, what we'll do is we'll run the inference on our uh, image. And let's see, uh, scene.jpg is the image. Um, and when we run this, um, it will run the inference. And here, using this command, we can see what the result looks like. So let it take some time to process. And here we can see all the cars in the image being detected. Uh, not all of them are being detected, but a lot of them are being detected. Now, I did do some comparison between YOLO V8, V10, and 11. The performance in terms of the detection was almost the same. The same amount or same type of cars were detected. Um, I didn't see a difference with regards to the coverage in terms of V11 covering more or being able to detect more occluded cars. So that way, it wasn't much different. So this is the original image. Um, and over here we have the detections. Now, once we have this done, um, let's now uh, see how we can run uh, the inference on the entire video that I showed you before. So we'll see a resource equals model um, input video dot mp4, and we'll say save equals true so that the output can be saved. Now this will start running the inference on the entire video, all the frames of the video, and it has already completed the inference and we can see the results have been saved to this folder. So let's go check them out. Here are uh, the runs detect, predict2, um, and here is the input video. So why I went into the predict2 folder is because here it said that the results are saved to predict2. Um, because one of the previous runs, uh, predict1 was already used. So for this new run, it saved it to predict2. Now here we can see the result, right? So guys, you can see the traffic lights being detected, the cars being detected, and even this person is being detected, right? Um, if we continue going forth, the cars in the video are being detected, uh, of course, in 2D as the model is supposed to do. Um, so, so far, uh, with regards to the the result, it's good, um, and this is how you can essentially run uh, YOLO uh, 11 model on your specific video or specific. So that's it for this video, guys. In this video, we essentially talked about how we can set up uh, the YOLO 11 model. We can load the model and run the inference on the model for an image and for videos you can uh, set this up uh, using the steps we've talked about in this video and run it on your own data set and also do cool projects using the yolo v11 super excited to see what folks end up doing with the new yolo version v11 um, a lot of possibilities a lot of applications and especially when you train this model on your own data set uh, that is something we've talked about in our previous videos as well, how to fine tune a YOLO model on your own data set. Uh, you can uh, do a lot more. Uh, you can achieve a lot of other tasks, um, especially um, that can help improve uh, security, safety, compliance, uh, or even uh, uh, help uh, improve your processes in your organization. That's all for this video, guys. If you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon so you are notified about any new video that we upload. We do upload videos about new technology in computer vision and how Convolve can assist in uh, you implementing, you incorporating those advancements in computer vision. So in case you have any question, here is our contact information. We would love to hear from you and chat with you. Thanks a lot for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.